another box of violets. I actually got two boxes of violets today. This shipment came in from, let's see, I ordered from, I ordered so many violets in the past few weeks, I'm almost forgot who I ordered from. I actually got two boxes of violets. Both orders came in today, but I'm gonna be doing a separate video on that one. But for this box, I ordered from, now I've, this, this is actually a new grower that I've ordered from, Woodland Blooms, and they're located in Wisconsin. And I had ordered this box of violets back in March. I think it was uh, March 17th that I've ordered this, and today is April 7th. So, and this is, this is one of the things that you have to remember. The shipping season for violets, the spring shipping season for violets starts in March. And for example, here it's about 80 degrees, but in Wisconsin, it obviously was not, <laughs> it was not nearly as warm over in Wisconsin. So after I ordered, I guess they had a cold snap and they had to kind of hold the order until things warmed up a little bit. And yeah, it was a little bit of a bummer knowing that I had some violets coming and they were just sitting there in Wisconsin while I was sitting here waiting, but at least it gave me the opportunity to prepare for them, uh, make some space, well, Theoretically, I made more space for them. I think I just filled it up with more violet. So yeah, I'm gonna have to still find space for these. But you know, it gave me some time to prepare and to know that these were coming. And now I'm just very excited about opening up this box. All right, so I ordered five violets out of this shipment. Silverglade Meadows, Rose Bouquet. I'm excited to see that one. Blue Dragon, Zar... You're gonna have to forgive me. Uh, this one is a Russian variety. Czar Grow, or I, I'm so sorry if I'm butchering the name, uh, my apologies. And then also Midnight Radiation. Now these are starter plants. All right, talked about starter plants before. These are just basically small, young plants. So they're not full grown like a Linda Secret Garden. They send me some mature plants. So, but these are starter plants, so. That's what we're gonna be getting here. So, yeah, and see how small they are? They usually send starter plants in about a two inch pot. So, I'm gonna take these guys out of the, out of the box here. And then I will open these up. As I, use, as I say, I always like it when growers use packaging that's biodegradable. So all I have to do, so this is newsprint, so all I have to do is just take this whole box and put it in recycling. All right. All right, now, gonna start unwrapping. Okay. Now I had seen Woodland Blooms a while back ago, and I think back in the fall, but I had think they had finished doing their fall shipping, so I kinda had to wait. I got on the mailing list, and I just, and not only that, not only had their fall shipping finished, but they were also out. <laughs> so um, I'm excited to see this. All right. You know, for a starter plant, this is a pretty big plant. All right. So, oh my dear. So this one is, it's the one that I couldn't pronounce. It's the Russian variety that I couldn't pronounce. So it's V-A-T Tsar Goher, or it's a G-O-R-O-H. So make that as you will. And so this particular bloom, so obviously you have variegated leaves and it's supposed to have large white and purple stars with pink fantasy blooms. So when that finally blooms, you're going to have, and oh, look, there's some buds. Not sure if you can see it here, but there's some buds growing in here. Yep, right there. And yeah, like I said, this is a pretty big starter plant. Usually I see them a little bit smaller than this, but this is a good size plant. I think I have plants already that are a little mature that are about this size. So actually, I think this is a fairly large standard. So that probably has something to do with it, but I love variegated leaves. So this is gonna be a great, great addition. I like the way this is packaged up. Nice, keeps all the dirt in. And hopefully I can open this up without cutting myself because that would be a bummer way to end the day. Okay, I had nothing but meetings today. I think I've said this in other videos, I do, a lot of work remotely and these shipments invariably fall on Thursdays which is my meeting days which is where I have a lot of meetings I think I had five today I feel pretty brain dead right now but this is perking me up so I'm gonna I've got a paper towel here to keep it up moist nice and moist okay this is a beautifully packaged plant very nice 
All right, and labeled, so I very much appreciate that. All right, so this is the Russian variety here. Now, what do we have next? Oh, wow, this one's big too. You know what, I bet you I know what this one is. I bet you I know that this one is Rose Bouquet because very distinctive leaves, that's one of the, variegated leaves are one of my favorite things in violets. Also, there's some stunning blossoms on this particular one, Rose Bouquet. I'm, and I also think I got today, in, in addition to this shipment and the shipment from Linda's Secret Garden, I also got a shipment of leaves from a leaf swap, and I believe that Rose Bouquet is one of them. So at least I don't have to wait until the leaves propagate in order to see this lovely plant. Oh my gosh, this is, this is, looks even better in person than it did online. You see how gorgeous that is? So beautiful, just absolutely gorgeous. And it, in case you haven't seen it before, and this is a type of vari variegation called mosaic variegation. So I guess it's because it has all these patches instead of the, you know, the edge variegation that you see here. All the coloring here is here on the edge. With mosaic variegation, it's all throughout the leaf. So I think this is one of the first ones that I have, this particular type of variegations, and I love it already. So rose bouquet, and in case you don't know what the blossoms look like, they're gonna be double pink frilled star blossoms, and it's supposed to have like a darker pink eye in the center. So I cannot wait for this one to bloom. And this is, and even if it doesn't bloom, like I keep saying with variegated, they're gorgeous even when they don't have flowers. Part of the reason why I love them so much. All right, gonna open this up. This is very neatly packaged. And that's why also why I love getting flowers from other growers that I haven't gotten because I get to see how they package up their items. And this is, so, oh, this is so neat. Beautiful. Pull this out. And see, I'm making the mess here <laughs> by pulling this out, but wow. All I can say is, wow, this is stunning. I cannot wait. And so we have a bloom, we have a blossom right here, getting ready to pop out. And I can't believe these are starter plants. I mean, these are huge. So maybe we'll find a smaller one in here. <laughs> what do you think? All right, here, here is the next one. And I ought to make a map out of all the places that I've gotten violets from. So I got, I think this is the second farthest I've ever had violets shipped to me. I think the first farthest was from Petals and Leaves. And that outfit is out in Washington. So these folks are out in Wisconsin. Massive leaves, look at that. Wow, okay, so I think this one is probably, this one's probably either Midnight Radiation or it's Silver Blade Meadows. Let's, we'll, we will find, let's go ahead and open it all the way and we'll find out. Lovely job packaging these, bravo. Aha, this is Midnight Radiation. All right, so this is Midnight Radiation. And see the blooms on this one, if I can remember correctly, these are gonna be dark purple pansies with blue rays, so blue fantasy rays in the center. And it's gonna have some white edges and it's gonna be frilly, just like these lovely leaves here. Oh, looks like this one's about to fall off. Ah, I guess I wonder what I'm gonna do with this one. You know what I'm gonna do with this one? I'm gonna pop it in some soil. <laughs> and by the time I'm done, I'm going to not have any room for anything else in my house. I already made that joke in my group that I've rearranged my house so that all the plants have all the room and I stuff everything else everywhere else. Okay, very gentle. Yeah, this one looks like it might need a little bit of support because these leaves are gigantic. Look at that, gigantic frilled leaves. I love them. All right, I don't see any blooms coming up yet, but that's okay. Okay, so this is a little bit floppy, that's all right. And especially if they're big, I might have, I might put a stake in here so that it'll give it some support so it can root properly. But amazing, amazing huge leaves. These are some, I got some pretty big plants here <laughs> when they grow up and these are just like the little starter plants. Can you believe it? So I'm gonna have to stake that guy and I'm gonna stake this guy in some soil so I can have more than one midnight radiation by the time I'm done. I've got two more. 
So what do I have left? I have Silver Glade and I also have Blue Dragon left. So let's see which one this is. All right, yeah, this is more like it. So this, these ones that I just opened must be giant standards because this one looks more like what I thought a starter plant, the size of a starter plant. So these are probably gonna be gigantic <laughs> by the time they grow up. This one is Blue Dragon. So with Blue Dragon, and as always, I will pop up a picture of what the blossoms will look like because with most starter plants, you're not going to have unless the grower specifically guarantees that the plant is going to be in bloom. And for some growers, they're go you're gonna be charged more to have a blooming plant, but there's no guarantee that you're gonna get a plant that's in bloom, which is just fine with me because before I put the plants in quarantine, I pop off any blossoms that may have started when I put them in quarantine, just to kind of make sure that there's no unwanted travelers or anything like that. All right, look how cute this one is. Very cute. All right, no blossoms. Like I said, just fine with me that there's no blossoms. All right, and so for this one, Blue Dragon, the flowers on this one is gonna be semi-double light blue stars with a darker eye. And you're gonna also have some purple banding and some variable white edge. I'm looking at the description. You'll also see the actual bloom when I post it up here. Blue Dragon, very cute. And finally, you know, I'd be sad that I'm done, but I have another box to go through, so I'm not too sad yet. <laughs> All right, and obviously the last one is Silver Glade Meadows. Very nice, so we got this leaf that's a little bit bent, that's fine. You know, out of all of these, we only had one leaf that fell off, and so this one leaf that's bent. So this is the sign of excellent, excellent packaging. Uh, you always lose leaves, which is just fine with me because you know I'm just gonna stick them in some soil so I can make more plants. Get this out. And I'd actually be kind of curious as to what kind of plastic this is. Yes, I. I'm curious about the weirdest things. <laughs> That's just useful to know if you ever have to ship plants. I'm just, if I ever have to ship a plant out, like if I'm doing a swap or something like that, which I'm starting to do, it's just useful to know how you can package things, package these beauties without having dirt all over the place and without having your plants damaged beyond belief. So that's part of the reason why I actually, I'm gonna need some scissors for that part of the reason why I record these so I can have an idea of how this is done. And of course, it's so much fun to see what growers do. I actually have several more orders still out, if you can believe it. One order is from Violet Barn, so I've never ordered from them before, so I will be very excited to see what those flowers look like. Alrighty. Okay, so this is and a little bit of stuff here. All right, so again, this is Silver Glade Meadows, and the blossoms on these are gonna be double medium pink frilled blossoms with big old wide white green edge on the blossoms. So that'll be really pretty when they bloom. Oh, and yet we have a bud right there. Yep, right there. So, oh, and we got another one, a smaller one here, if you can see it. Very exciting. Okay. And again, I can't believe these are starter plants. These are kind of, these are much bigger than I was, these are bigger than I was expecting. All right, so I'll probably pull this leaf uh, because it's already a little bit damaged, which is fine because the rest of the leaves look perfect. So again, if you manage to ship these things out all the way from Wisconsin to Virginia, and you only have one slightly damaged leaf and one leaf that's fallen off, that's a sign of great packaging, let me tell you. All right, so these are my items from Woodland Blooms. I can't get over, I can't get over Rose Bouquet. I just, I know that's gonna be one of my, that's gonna be one of my favorites, I can tell. Gorgeous foliage on all of these. Again, these are starter plants, so I'm expecting them to grow much, much bigger, <laughs> if you can believe it. And I cannot wait for some of these to blossom once they get out of quarantine. You can better believe I'm gonna be sitting there waiting for blossoms. 
So I'm going to go ahead and end off this video. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to open up my other package. If you like this video, you can go watch that one. Don't want to put it in the same video because it's going to make it terribly, terribly long. Again, thanks for watching.